So I've got it set up, so we've got this little meter here, it's not the best, um, it's not the best resolution, uh, but it will give us a voltage reading, and this one is set up for uh, an amperage reading. All I've got really uh, to do this, I'm going to put this on 500 volts, uh, to do this, can you see that, yep, yeah. is these bulbs. Now these bulbs are mixed. Uh, wattages, and I suppose by knowing what the voltage is and what the amperage is, we'll be able to determine what the wattages are. So, I'm going to connect them over here in the, in the lamp holder there, and we've just got to give it some juice here. I'll turn on the RCD, set to zero. Um, now, with no load you get, I think it's 34 volts while it's set at zero um, but then as soon as you put a load on it it's down to zero volts which I suppose is normal so if I start going up like three volts there going up in there's there ten volts can't see any, anything out the end bulb. If I turn this off, don't need that, do we? Go straight to 40 volts. And the bulb is just starting to light up. Maybe it's 60 volts. Back on 60. And Hundred volts. So hundred and forty. Let's go to two twenty. So it's normally about 2.30 isn't it Dave? for the main, so for that bulb we've got, I'm going to write it down, so we've got a 231 volts and 0.1665 amps, that's for bulb 1. We take that up. Take it up to 250. It's not really drawing that much more. So how high we can go. 273 volts. I'm not going to hold it there. I don't really want to burn out the bulb. I'll just then it down. Just isolate that off. I have got a switch on this wire as well, so I can actually just switch off this. Uh, it's just nice to have that kind of isolation because it gives a few seconds for this to cool if it got warm. Uh, put this one in. They're the only three screw fitting bulbs that I have, so. Oh. Connector block, it's brilliant that connector block is, absolutely love that. Uh, straight to uh, sort of 60 volts, I think. That doesn't do a lot. It only lights it up, what's it like at 120? Huh. So we've got uh, 200. Thereabouts. That's using quite a bit more current. Let's go to 30 with this. And go smidge them. Ah, I did the head first one. So, what have we got? We've got 230 volts and 0.41 ohm. 
seven. Zero point four one and seven amps. Okay, so that's like it. A bit of a two fifty volt. Right, let's just whip it up. Two seventy three. Two seventy four, two seventy three. That's pretty bright. Oh, a little bit down here. I can't hear. I know there's going to be a little bit of hum with this. And yeah, you can hear like you know just a tiny bit of hum, but you can't really hear anything excessive. There's no, uh, you know, just nothing really excessive. That's probably going to be a little bit warm. As I was doing before. Yeah, that is quite warm. And then we got this bulb. This one's quite pretty. It's uh, another one like this. It's like a, a, an Edison style bulb. Um, and this one is as well an Edison style bulb. They're not really practical. You know, I bought them. Um, I, I bought them because I was going to use them with my solid state coil to make them have pretty patterns. But it didn't work out like that. These don't actually do that. These regular tungsten bulbs do. It's getting a lot warmer as well. Assume this because this is a higher wattage. Ouch. This one in. And block that down. Okay. I like the, you know, there's an off position which is good. And then we can like one volt, brilliant. Two volts. Three volts. <laughs> Four volts. Literally you can feel it just go over it like a winding. Like that felt like it went over winding, but we didn't go up in voltage, there you go. So anyway, up to 80 volts. Let me just take this out of here for a minute and show you this. Oh, this was quite, quite pretty. If I turn it up there to 120, oh, I don't really get to see. Turn it back down again. So. So that's 120, uh, 200 volts, a bit 230 again, take the measurement, 229, take a little tiny touch, that's it, got 230. Now I suppose it would be slightly different when the bulb's warmer as well. What would it? I mean, wait, I suppose it would be slightly a little bit. So anyway, 0 0.2663. So there's definitely some variation then between the first, second and third. The first one was only drawing 1.1665 amps. The second one was drawing 4.07 amps. The third one, this one, drawing 0.2663. Or 2667 now. Rubbing it down as 2663. So let's see what it looks like at 240. Oh, a little bit over, around 250 then. I'm still a bit wary about touching the outside of this. Maybe I should get another meter and just check. But I would have thought with that, um, you know, doing it with the mega meter type thing, um, that they would, it would have shown up to be a problem, but I'm sure it's not. I just don't trust it. Oh, there we go. 275 volts. I don't want to kill off the bowl. This is quite a pretty bowl. But not really practical. I mean, it's okay. Uh, the local pub that I go to, they've got a whole load of these um, around the bar. And it does look quite nice. Uh, but it's probably quite expensive to run it like that. But still. So there we go. Let me just uh, secure the power. Oh. 
So that's all I've got really that I can uh, like do any type of real test with. I can, I can stick a socket on the end of this and go and plug a vacuum cleaner. And I mean that's basically what I'm going to do now. I've got a socket. I've got a socket and I'm going to make a connection. I'm going to break one of these, uh, break one of these open, and make a connection. So I've actually got something I can just you know, hook onto there. Uh, I don't have you know all of the connector proper connectors and stuff, so I'll probably just use some uh, some twinning earth cable or something and use the blue and brown and literally just hook them over nice into a nice shape, so I can just unhook it, take it off, and hook it back on, put it back on, screw it down tight. This is only for here, isn't it? This isn't a commercial place or anything like that. It's down to me to look out for my own safety, and if I make a boo boo, then you know that's my own fault. Oh, I'm happy that this works. Uh, doesn't seem to, you know, there's nothing, no really smellinesses or anything like that, no homes or dodginess. So, yeah, I'm going to do something about the out, the input part, say in there, maybe do it with white again. I don't have any Tipex or anything, so I'll have to actually buy some. Uh, but it works. It works. Uh, I can't remember what the output voltage was, uh, 273, something like that, that's pretty good. It says 265 there, but it's got the off position on zero. Yeah. And it cost me 55 quid in the end. So, that's not bad.